Hold your bets. Maybe the tribe refunds all of tonight's wagers. Just days before a huge sports weekend, a judge tosses Florida's gambling pact. Federal law that governs um, tribal gaming is limited to the territory of the Indian Reservation. Meaning sports betting in Florida not getting the luck of the draw. And it's not just sports betting either. Table games like craps and roulette at casinos like the Hard Rock are on hold as well. Fox 35's Dave Puglisi has been looking into the judge's ruling. He joins us live now. So Dave, this all comes down to where the betting is going on. Well, Luann, that is definitely part of it. But the other part is the fact that it goes against state law, which says that the people are the ones that are supposed to have the final say. The Hard Rock Sportsbook may soon be no more after a federal judge ruled to nullify the seminal compact. You know, this is a great day for the people of Florida. John Sawinski's group No Casinos has opposed the seminal compact since the beginning. And we think it ought to send a message to politicians in Tallahassee and Washington that, uh, uh, that the people of Florida, not politicians, have the authority to expand gambling in our state. A judge agreed, saying the compact violated the state's constitution. It says sports gambling can only be expanded through a vote by the people. The judge also ruling the pact broke the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act by allowing betting off of tribal grounds. The Seminole tribe has appealed the judge's ruling and are carefully considering their next steps. Tribal lands is tribal lands, but, but if you're staying in the middle of downtown Orlando or Tampa or Miami or Jacksonville or Pensacola, you're not on tribal lands. The Florida Education Champions, which is backed by DraftKings and FanDuel, are continuing their push to open up sports betting anywhere in the state. We feel that uh, we should bring this up to the voters uh, as, as they wanted back in 2018 through Amendment 3. We believe that uh, this needs to be open. Uh, it's a free market competition. It should not be a monopoly. Now, if the tribe's appeal fails, there are other ways that sports betting could come back. One of them is that the tribe could just renegotiate a new compact with the state. The other one is eventually having sports betting come up on the ballot to be voted upon. As of right now, that Hard Rock Sportsbook app is still working and still accepting bets. Seminole Tribe says it is fully operational for now, although the question still remains for how long. In Daytona Beach, Dave Puglisi, Fox 35 News. Dave, thank you. And if the legislature does decide to put the governor's gambling pack with the Seminole Tribe on the ballot, it could compete with out-of-state sports betting companies as well. They are trying to get their own question on the ballot to do business here in Florida.